Jay McCullough reporting live here. It is Sunday evening. Riverview Farmers Market was earlier today. It was in uh, every other week, so Riggs was there. Um, told you to come back, and here we are. Uh, picked up two things there. Well, we, we did get the um, uh, that ham cheese thing that uh, Cynthia likes. But initially, we got two new dips. I was going to go for the trout dip because, you know, it's, it's outstanding. Um, but one thing that always caught my eye is the uh, Lebanese garlic spread, the tomb. And uh, this is just, I'll get to this in a second, but we also picked up the buffalo chicken. That's going to take 20 minutes at 350 to reheat at least. Um, so I really couldn't get into that, and I just really wanted to capture this moment here. Um, now, when Riggs sells you the tomb, I mean, the, the, the other dips, the trout dip, like, you can use these things in different cases. Tomb is usually, this is going to be something that you're going to put on maybe a sandwich. It's not, I wouldn't look at this like a like a thing, of, like their lemna. I think I can make through an entire container. But the tomb is, you're going to have to portion yourself here, because this is basically a a high intensity condiment um, and I guess it qualifies as a dip as well but it was a great excuse for this pita uh, sorry for this uh, matzo that we have left over I've really been trying to work through these free matzos that my mom got from Easter um, so this I appreciate what they're doing here because this is there's so much garlic in here and it's oh it just hits you and it almost feels relentless like it's too much to really indulge in it in this way just to dip into it a whole container of tomb and that's what i appreciate with rigs they're just they're putting it out there like look we made this tomb you know what you do it is your business if they're throwing a party and you'd like a condiment to put on i don't want to sample it or if you just want to go to your kitchen at night and just dip matzah directly into this tomb and enjoy it you go ahead and do that because that's that's what farmers markets are all about um Takes us back to last week. All seed farms. We picked up some corn. Never worked with this before. A little struggled to get some of the kernels off, but once we did, it made a beautiful pop corn. And this is this is two days old, but I just want to show you just what a beautiful pop that we get on that. Just um, just really full. These kernels are happy to be popping. You don't always get that with some of the other pop corn, but I felt with these, they really they really came alive. They were. Um, I don't want to call kernels that don't pop duds uh, because maybe the kernels decide they don't want to pop, but and that's fine. Um, but just in general, they were just everybody was happy to come to the party, and it was used it with some Trader Joe's elote, everything but the elote, where you bring the corn, a great popcorn, and uh, totally recommend that seasoning as well. Uh, so there's there's a little bow switch, but not to not to digress. The rigs look. I'm so excited here. I put the rigs back on the popcorn. If they made popcorn, I'd love to try it. If the people at rigs are listening. Um, but if not, just have a great evening. Bye-bye.